Hello, my friends. Uh, it's a quick video. Uh, my Honda Fit 2015. It has a code. So it's uh, U0155. It means a lost communication with instrument uh, cl panel cluster. Now, a quick background. A few days ago, it, uh, it was the um, actual uh, light, the, uh, the signal light. Okay, this uh, okay went up. Let me see if I can come back. I'll show you. Yeah, that was this light that was on. So it stayed on for uh, a few days, and then, then the engine light uh, came on. So I did some research, and then I have my uh, the scanner, and so I scanned it. So I scanned it, and then that's when I find the uh, it's the it's it's that uh, code U zero one five five. So the uh, there are many things that could be wrong. It could be the battery, or it could be a blown fuse, or it could be uh, one of the the module, the modules uh, that uh, communicate uh, with the uh, with the vehicles, uh, with the other modules. So. It is advised that I check the battery and I check the battery and battery is good. So now what happened is uh, today I was going to, uh, I wanted to check it. And so my wife told me that uh, the, uh, yeah, the engine light uh, went away. The code is, uh, is still there. So it is stored. So what I'm going to do, I will uh, clear the code and disconnect the battery and look for uh, any possible things that could uh, that could be wrong and also the uh, check the the fuses so i'm uh, i'm erasing the, uh, the that code trouble code and then i will go out um, check all the fuses okay disconnect the battery and reconnect the battery and see uh, if the uh, if it comes back, but I will drive the vehicle first to see if it'll come back All right, so based on the information I gathered uh, during my uh, During my research, you know loose uh, the battery uh, uh, Connector Okay, can uh, trigger the code and also if the battery is low on voltage it will also uh, trigger uh, trigger the code. In addition to um, any possible loose uh, ca loose connector, so we have to check and make sure that there is no uh, nothing nothing uh, is uh, yeah is loose. So basically, I think it was the doing while the computer was uh, doing its uh, maintenance, and then uh, it just something uh, happened. But right now, let me go ahead and uh, do the battery. Okay, check the battery voltage, and you see it's uh, twelve fifty-eight. And when the car starts, it will jump to uh, almost uh, almost fifteen. So battery is fine. We eliminate that one. All right. So now I'm going to uh, check all the fuses, and I have this uh, tester. So all you do is you put, um, I, I, okay, I put it on the, uh, okay, on negative, and then every uh, probe, and you see the light should uh, should turn on, and you do it on, yeah, for both, and so that's what I will do to check all of them, and then also there are. Um, be, um, there are also though these in uh, those these fuses inside the vehicle too by the uh, driver uh, side well uh, I, I I checked when the car was off see all these uh, fuses all these work but th that one here doesn't work it doesn't come on and then back here uh, the first see the first two okay First two, they on. First two on, but the last, the 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 last two, 
they don't come on so basically there are three of them those three that don't come on all right guys and um, open uh, further uh, research I uh, checked the uh, the manual and the, uh, the the back ones here that didn't come on now they are on okay I found out that they uh, they belong to the uh, they control the, the light so the however this one here that which doesn't work it is the uh, it is number 25 smart entry auto start so but it doesn't I uh, see so but I, I put it out and then it's fine so I will replace it and and see what what's going uh, if that would uh, would help because the car is on and it and the, you see there's no electricity no electricity and when the car was off there was still no electricity going the other ones you see all of the other ones are fine okay instead of replacing uh, this fuse which i have problem with that didn't come on i take this one that was fine and i put it right here so i switched them so this was here and then uh and look okay so let me go ahead and uh and connect okay it was disconnected and then uh look see it works this this here was over here and so you see now this doesn't come on so but it says it it belongs to the smart entry auto auto start so since it looks like it only works when the car uh when the car is in i don't know i don't know right now so i have to figure out uh, why this one doesn't come on if something is wrong with the uh, uh, with something else somewhere all right so I'm back from a long drive and then you see you see uh, I'm, uh, I recheck I'm rechecking and see if I'm gonna ha uh, have some codes at least one code the previous code Okay, that's the vehicle. And you see zero code zero codes found. So no code. No code. No code. Uh, code. See there's no no store code. Okay. Let me go to pending. Any pending code? No pending codes. Permanent code. No permanent code. So, so basically, it looks like uh, it was a computer malfunction. Yeah, I checked all the uh, the fuse. You see, I checked the fuses, and all of them were fine. It were good, and battery was fine. And all I did, I res I reset the uh, the code. Okay, so now we're gonna to have to wait to see what's uh, if it's gonna come back. But if it'll come back, I will uh, let you know in the uh, description uh, part of the uh, the video. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, you see how I save money because most people would have just taken that car to the dealership or somebody, and to uh, okay, so it's always good to have a machine like this.